Good evening. The Lord be with you. Tonight is Maundy Thursday. Maundy comes from the Latin word mandatum, which means command. And that comes from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 13, where Jesus says, A new command I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. Then Jesus proceeded to wrap a towel around his waist, take a basin of water, and wash his disciples' feet. An act of humble service and an image of baptism which washes us all into Christ. Then Jesus celebrated the Passover in that very same room. At the end of the meal, Jesus gave a new Passover, a holy communion celebration. The Lord's body, about to suffer and die on a cross, he himself gives out to his disciples. So whenever anyone eats of the bread and drinks of the cup, they proclaim Jesus' death until he comes again. Tonight, we cannot share the new Passover of this blessed Holy Communion. We as the Church, the very body of Christ in the world, are scattered in our homes, isolated because of COVID-19. But we are ever more connected. Because Christ still comes to us and makes his home in our hearts by the scriptures we hear or read, in remembering our baptisms, and most certainly in our life of prayer. And until the day comes when we gather and feast on our Lord, let us pray in remembrance of his great gift. Lord God, on the day he suffered, your Son, in his mercy and love, graciously gave us his holy communion feast. Although we cannot now receive in our mouths his true body and blood, still we ask you to stir up our minds and hearts to a holy remembrance of his gifts. Grant that by faith we may spiritually receive of him, as we recall gospel words, This is my body, this is my blood, given and shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Fill us now with his blood-bought forgiveness, and pour every heavenly blessing and grace upon all who devoutly remember this day. Gather us together from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Church has an ancient custom on Monday, Thursday. At the conclusion of the service, the altar and inner sanctuary is stripped of all adornment in honor of our dear Lord, who is stripped of clothing and his majestic dignity in getting ready to lay down on the cross and die for us. While this is done, you will hear the words of Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel, and you our ancestors trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried, and were saved, and you they trusted, and were not put to shame. But I am a worm, and not human, scorned by others, and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their hands or heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. Oh, you, on you I was cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no, care, no one to help. Many bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves, and for in my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, 
a life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. From the horns of the wild oxen you have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of this congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. For you comes with my, my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him, indeed, shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the desert. And I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord.